for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you how to read the complete g plus 1 plus penthouse results in a tap software for the real time projects okay so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done by using a tap software so for that just i'm selecting my a tap software here so this is my building model which is consisting of the uh, uh, ground level here like this which is comes under the base level ground level and first story level and penthouse level okay so this is the uh, ground this is the uh, plinth level this is the first slab this is the second slab and this is the plinth slab okay in this video i will explain you how to design this building and how to read the results for the real time projects as per csi detailing so after uh, applying all the load cases we need to analyze this respective structure go to analyze option click on set load cases to run option click on run now option so that uh, it will ask you to save the model initially just i'm selecting my model g let us consider just i'm selecting a folder here okay just i'm selecting here and giving the name as a click on save option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure under considerations of the gravity loading condition as we know that if the building having uh, height is greater than 10 meter then we have to apply the wind loading condition but here in this case the building is not exceeding the 10 meter that's why i'm not applying the wind loading condition system again in the same process i'm assuming this respected building was located in low seismic zoning condition zone to seismic condition that's why i'm not able to applying the seismic loading condition for the particular structure okay now you can see it is doing the analysis process after the analysis this process is completed the displacement diagram is showing on the right hand side section here like this so this is the deflection diagram under the dead loading condition you can change the deflection and shear force diagram with the different load combinations also okay so for uh, showing the shear force value just i am selecting here as display option forces option frame spandrilla force select the combination just i am selecting combination number 2 select shear to 2 option click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram select moment 3 3 option click on apply option it will apply the bending moment diagram here like this you can see the torsion diagram for the building structure here like this okay you can load the results as per your consideration now we have to do the detailing process in csi detailing so for that firstly we have to apply the strip condition system for the floors so for that just i am unlocking the model here click on ok again go to click on the edit option on the top select the edit grid strip condition click on add edit grid strips which is related to the penthouse at uh, story number and x direction with strip layer is a click on apply option in the same process we have to select the direction will be of y with strip layer is b click on apply it will apply the strip condition here like this in the same process i am selecting the first uh, slab section in x direction with strip layer is a click on apply again in the same process just i am applying the grid direction will be of y with the layer will be of b click on apply again in the same process i am selecting the ground floor for the particular structure with the strip layer is x direction with a layer click on apply option in the same process i am selecting the y direction condition with the strip layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the ground okay so again we have to click on ok option now we have to do the analysis process again for the building structure with the considerations of the strip condition system for the different floors okay so for that again we have to go to analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure with the considerations of the strip condition systems then we can easily proceed with uh, designing of the beam sections column section and designing of the slab section under consideration okay now we can see it is doing the analysis process for the g plus 1 plus penthouse section for the building structure okay so go to design option after the uh, analysis process click on the concrete frame design click on view revised preferences select is 456 2000 codal provision click on ok again in the same process we have to click on the design option concrete frame design so click on the start designing check option so that it will do the designing process for the respective frame section under consideration now we can see it was done with beam design column design here like this now we have to design a slab go to click on this view revised preferences select is 456-2000 click on ok again in the same process just i am selecting this option click on select story numbers here just i am selecting penthouse 1g click on ok option again in the same process i am selecting this option click on start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respective slab section at the different floors okay so now we can see it is doing the designing process for the respected consideration here like this this is the slab strip design layer for the top reinforcement and bottom reinforcement intensity so now we have to save this model 
control s option so that it will save the model as per the consideration okay then we have to do the detailing process in csi detailing version software so for that just i am opening here my csi detailing 18 version software so firstly we have to import the model from e tab software to csi detailing software then in csi detailing we can easily do the uh, designing process go to file option click on new detailing option firstly we have to select the model just i am selecting the model is ga so that it will open the model in e tab software initially then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software in the csi detailing version software we can easily do the uh, detailing process for the beam sections column section slab section okay then i will show you how to read that particular reinforcement value for the slab section beam section column section for the g plus 1 plus penthouse building now we can see here the data is importing for the respected sections of the grid section story section join section frame sections then after that it will import the data related to the shell sections here like this okay so now we have to add some of the data initially before processing to the detailing section so for that just i am selecting detailing units option select the force will be in kilo newton section and rebar set will be of is uh, si is 25 and select the rebar will be of ton click on ok option select the preferences option select use uh, standard preferences as per is 456 2000 codal provision click on ok so click on the concrete detailing preferences you can change the beam option to b here and column option to c here and wall option to w here okay click on ok option so select the rebar rules option you can change if you want to change this respected particular values so here i am changing my uh, minimum spacing is uh, 120 and maximum spacing is 450 for the particular structure again in the same process i am changing here 120 value this is 120 value this is 120 value in the same process i am say, say changing this particular value of 450 450 450 here select the column section just i am changing this value to 120 value again this respected value to 450 value here okay click on ok option now we have to select the ok option for the particular structure so that it will do the detailing process as per is 456 2000 codal provision okay so it will show you all the re reinforcement details for the particular structure so this is the framing plan for the penthouse section this is the rebar plan for the penthouse section this is the top rebar plan I, again i am selecting all rebar plan option here okay now you can see this is the all rebar plan for the particular structure so initially i am selecting top rebar plan so for this respective structure if you see this particular structure it will be consisting of the reinforcement in horizontal section here like this and vertical here like this all the bars are comes under this particular sections of four numbers of 12 mm diameter plus three numbers of 12 mm diameter for the uh, vertical direction in horizontal it will be consisting of the five numbers of the 10 mm diameter plus five numbers of the 10 mm diameter for the strip layer a and b section okay a is nothing but the horizontal section b is nothing but the vertical section okay again in the same process it will be consisting of the top rebar plan and this is the bottom rebar plan for the particular structure okay so it will be consisting of four uh, bars of 12 mm diameter and uh, plus three bars of 12 mm diameter for the particular structure for the whole slab section okay so this is the process to read the complete slab reinforcement details for the penthouse okay again in the same process you can see the penthouse section a reinforcement details it will be showing the values of uh, 2 bars of 10 mm plus 3 bars of 10 mm and 4 bars of 12 mm plus 4 bars of 12 mm at the a section at the b section so this is the reinforcement profile at a this is the b so this is the bill of material and the rebar quantity just i am selecting directly as rebar kgv option so that it will load the rebar kg for the slab section of the penthouse it will be consisting of the 10 mm diameter and 12 mm diameter for the particular slab section at the top and bottom okay so again in the same process you can select any one of the floor again it will be consisting of the complete uh, flooring plan and rebar plan top rebar plan and bottom rebar plan and all rebar plan again it will be consisting of the rebar cage view for the particular slab section in that particular slab section also you can able to read the all the diameter of the bar and uh, values which are included on that particular section okay so simply i am selecting top re rebar section so now we can see it will be consisting of three bars of 12 mm diameter plus three bars of 12 mm diameter for this particular area and it will be consisting of the respected section of five bars of 12 mm diameter plus five bars of 12 mm diameter for the respected section here like this okay so again in the same process you can load the rebar cage view option so that it will load the rebar kg for the particular slab in the same process we have to read the uh, beam reinforcement details and uh, column reinforcement details so for that just i am selecting beam detailing option concrete beams option so select the framing plan it will be consisting of the framing plan for the particular slab section 
for the different stories okay like this okay here select the schedules and tables option it will be consisting of the schedules for the particular sections of the uh, beam section which is nothing but the span of the beam span number and uh, uh, width and depth of the beam and reinforcement profile which is required at the longitudinal bars. bars again it will be consisting of the stirrup section at the zone a b c here like this okay you can see any one of the reinforcement sections depends upon your consideration it will it is also consisting of bill of material rebar quantity option select the elevation section select the penthouse select uh, it will be consisting of four beam sections here as per the typical floor plan so here i am selecting section a okay so now we can say this is the section a reinforcement details okay so for that particular section of the penthouse which is cons considered uh, at the penthouse section penthouse level it is required approximately uh, four bars of 12, 14 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section and four two bars of 14 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section again it is required approximately uh, 10 mm diameter bar with the 79 center to center distance for the stirrup section under considerations of the dimensions of 230 mm cross uh, 350 mm cross section of the beam again in the same process you can select the reinforcement profile bill of material rebar quantity select the rebar cage view option now we can see this is the realistic view for the particular structure of the rebar cage view now we can see it is having the higher amount of the reinforcement section at the ends why because it will be consisting of the support condition at the ends in order to resist that particular amount of the uh, loading condition system it is required additional reinforcement here like this okay so this is the complete process of the beam reinforcement section in the same process you can read the results which is comes under the different floors now we can see it is required approximately four bars at the top with the 14 mm diameter at the top reinforcement and two bars of the 14 mm diameter at the bottom again in the same process it will be consisting of the rebar cage view for the particular structure of the beam okay now we can see this is the beam section reinforcement for the uh, ground floor section in the same process i am selecting column detailing option so select the framing plan this is the framing plan which is nothing but the center to center distance between the each column in horizontal direction and vertical direction so select the schedules and drawing concrete table <coughs> okay now you can see it is required approximately 10 mm diameter bar with 150 center to center distance for the uh, respected uh, ties again it will be consisting of column size here section here reinforcement here so it is required approximately 12 bars of 16 mm diameter for the respected section and this is the ties reinforcement at the different level it is required approximately 10 mm diameter at uh, 100 center to center distance for the respected tie zone a again it will be res required approximately 10 mm diameter bar with 150 center to center distance for the tie zone b and c in the same process you can select the rebar material quantities select the elevation select the c1 select the aa section now you can see it is required approximately uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 number of the 16 mm diameter bar for the particular section of the column this is the bill of material rebar quantity select the rebar cage view option so that it will load the rebar cage view for the particular structure under consideration now you can see this is the column reinforcement details for the building structure here like this it will load the column reinforcement details in etap csi detailing version software okay so this is the complete process of reading the complete output file for the particular structure of g plus one plus paint house section by using csi detailing version software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected particular questions thank you